Hey guys, it's Nutcase, and today's video is going to be a little different. I'm actually not sure what we're going to do fully for it, but the first part of it is going to be a little bit of an art haul. Art supply haul, actually. But uh, recently my friend was in town for a convention, and on the following Monday we went and did some art supply shopping before I sent her off. So I went to a local place called Binders and a place called Samflax, which I believe, yeah, is also in Orlando. So yeah, let's see what I got at the stores. Okay, so first off, I went, we went to Binders second, but I'm gonna go ahead and go through these first. So I got this goat hair brush on sale, so I wanted to try this. It was really soft when it was out of package. I don't want to unpackage it just yet, so it'll stay in package. Um, I also got some of these brushes by the Art Alternatives. I kept seeing these at both of the stores we went to, and so I decided to pick up a pack, and uh, hopefully I'll use them with the other supply I got at Finders, which I got some acrylic wash, finally! So I've been wanting to get these for a while, and I went ahead and got uh, uh, pink, blue, and yellow. I got this green because I really liked it as well, and then I also got some white so I can mix, you know, different lightnesses and stuff, even though these are very pastel anyways, but yeah. So yeah, that's all I got from binders, so just some paint brushes. And some paints. Let me show you guys what I got from Sam Flax now. So Sam Flax was actually the first store we went to and I bought a lot more stuff there but I had more of a list there. So first off I got another one of these things by Alt Alternative. It's just a mixed media sketchbook but it's like kind of like a sample size I guess. It's not like a full sketchbook. It's only 24 sheets so yeah I wanted to give that a shot. Um, I also got a, oh, sorry, did not mean to dump the camera there. I got some more painter's tape. I've needed some of this, and so I also got some more alt alternative. Um, let's see what else I got. I got a sumo eraser. It's like a retractable one. I've heard good things about this one, so I wanted to get that. Uh, on the other note of erasers, I finally got a kneaded eraser. It's a tiny, tiny one. But uh, I had a bad experience with kneaded erasers whenever I was younger, and that's why I haven't been using them, but I've seen a lot of people use them and I want to try learning how to use them properly. So yeah. The next things I've got were a bunch of pens. So I got one of the Posca paint pens that's the brush pen, because I've been wanting to try that, and I got this in a very cool blue that I really like. So that'd be cool. And then I also got some more Posca pens that are more fine liner, but they're darker colors because I really don't like black for painting anyways, so yeah. And then I got two just pens. I got this one because it looked interesting and it's a friction liner, so I should be able to erase it with the friction. Um, and then just a ballpoint pen that's blue as well because I like blue. And the last thing I got was this book. It was A Year of Small Drawings. And so basically it's like a little prompt book and you fill out the little squares with little tiny drawings for the prompts. So yeah, I thought this would be a nice like little exercise book. Maybe I'll do some and do like a flip through once I finish them all or something to show you guys what all mine look like. But yeah, I've been wanting to get something like this like a little prompt book for a while so this should be fun so i'm gonna do something with some what some of these materials or something but we'll see that'll be in the next part of the video all right so what i first did was i swatched a lot of the material in the sketchbook to see what the sketchbook could take um, and then i sketched something out uh, if you follow me on social media anywhere, you've probably seen this picture. But I decided to go ahead and do a painting with the gouache because it seemed that the paper could take uh, gouache pretty well. And it does. 
the paper itself in the sketchbook is pretty good, but I really dislike the texture of it. Uh, usually I don't have this issue with sketchbooks, but like the paper feels too fibrous and like if you run your hands over it, it feels like you get fibers stuck to your hand and it makes your hand feel like fuzzy or like you have small splinter kind of things like sticking into your hand. They don't hurt, it just makes your hand like feel weird, at least for me it does. Uh, my husband says it just feels fluffy, but he also has pretty calloused hands from his work, so yeah. <laughs> but that being said, uh, the gouache really does take to the paper really well. Um, I think for pen sketching and uh, lighter pencil stuff, this is a good sketchbook. But since getting this sketchbook and even recording this video, I've used this sketchbook more because it's only 24 pages. I wanted to go ahead and get it done. Um, I've put a hole in it through with using my pencil, which honestly I've never had happen before with a sketchbook, at least that I can remember. So, um, yeah, my my uh, blue pencils that I use for under sketching are fine because they're not super sharp, but both the point. 5 pencil and 0.7 pencil have put holes through the paper when using mechanical pencils. So yeah! <laughs> um, not only that, but the center page fell out before I even got to it. So I'll show that part at the end of the uh, video here. So this isn't a very well held together sketchbook at all. Um, and it's really sad because the uh, alt alternative products that I got besides that, which are the uh, painter's tape and the brushes that I'm even using here, uh, work amazingly, but I don't think I will be getting any of their sketchbooks, which is sad because I was kind of hoping this sketchbook was going to be somewhat decent. Uh, it was only $7, but like, I don't know, it would have been nice to find like a cheap alternative sketchbook. But I'm back to my old I miss my Denink sketchbooks and I can't wait to get back to them. Um, actually, I'm excited to try gouache out in my Denink sketchbooks too now. Now that I think about it because I do watercolor and stuff in them so why couldn't I do gouache? That might be cool. Uh, so part of the thing with gouache that I'm trying to figure out is how to do the blending well and it seems like at least with the dried gouache with the acrylic gouache that I have uh, you can layer other gouache on top of it and blend that gouache pretty well just by w uh, watering down the uh, like as you blend uh, so as long as it's dry you can layer and then blend on top of it and then you can also you can just obviously just blend uh, wet stuff and you'll you'll see it better once I do the finish shot and you'll see like the gradients that I did on the stripes here The stripes aren't the best, but I wanted to do something to use all of the colors <laughs> and uh, Yeah, and you can see there that I tore a little bit of the sketchbook with the tape, but that's my bad like I know this sketchbook doesn't take tape well I actually tried to tape the uh, border for this one down um, and then I went to readjust it and I saw it was ripping up the paper and so I was like, alright, so I'm just gonna take these up and not use that and just uh, crop out whatever I don't use um, whenever I do the scan. So yeah. And here I'm using one of the finer Posca pens that I got to do the outline, which uh, honestly I think turned out great. Like I, I like using the Posca pens on top of the uh, acrylic gouache really well, so I'll probably actually start incorporating those two together so that that'll be kind of cool to be able to have just a few more colors and whatnot um, I'd love to get more of this acrylic gouache because uh, I don't know if you guys saw the little palette but I only had to put like little tiny dots the only one that I had to refill was the yellow and that's because I did the background is yellow but uh, it really goes a long way so I definitely want to use more acrylic gouache this was way too much fun and I'm Sad I took so long to try it before, you know, I did, because it, again, a lot of fun. And here's the sketchbook so far. Uh, as you see, I did a start date like I normally do, and there's my swatch page. And these are some other sketches I've done so far. Uh, my blue pencils, uh, ballpoint pens, and 
other things like that work fine. Copics and other markers are fine, they just bleed through just like anything else. Brush pens aren't so great because the fibers on the paper do not mix well with the brush pen. There's where I had to tape in the center fold of the book where it had fallen out. But yeah, so this is what I've gotten and what I've done with the art supplies that I got. I really am glad that I got the kneaded eraser because I've started using that for everything now. So that was a great investment as well. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this art haul and this speed paint as well, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!